Hello everyone. So this is the one of, uh, uh, another next ex experiment related with the AC machines. So this one is belongs to the alternator, three phase alternator. The title of experiment is to perform the direct loading test on given a three phase alternator and determine voltage regulation for various power factor loads. In the theory part, we have seen about the uh, regulation part of the alternator. That is the voltage regulation part of alternator. The voltage regulation is nothing but it's a difference of the terminal voltage of generator from no load to full load. Okay. So as we know that when the alternator is going to load it with the different loads, so the terminal voltage of alternator is reduces. Okay. And that uh, voltage uh, regulation we are going to measure uh, with the help of this experiment setup for different power factor load. That means we are taking the voltage, we are determining the voltage regulation for in uh, resistive load, inductive load, as well as for capacity load. Okay. So this practical significance of this experiment is the determination of voltage regulation of a three phase alternator is one of the prime requirement to understand the performance and efficient working of alternators which are widely used in generating stations direct loading test gives accurate results of regulations of alternator okay so uh, compared to the non uh, indirect method so uh, this direct uh, met direct loading test already we have covered this part into the theory part uh, theory session. So this is one of the most uh, best method, accurate method, we call it accurate method for finding the voltage regulation of alternator. Okay. So we will uh, see the about uh, circuit diagram of this experiment. So as we know that the alternator always used to uh, uh, use for running, uh, used to drive, uh, it is used to generate the electricity by with the help of the any drive driven machines. Okay. So for this, per, uh, for this setup, we are using the DC machine or simple called the DC shunter motor for uh, for driving uh, the alternator, three phase alternators. That means we have connected the DC shunter motor direct coupling with the generators or alternators. Okay. So once we started the DC shunter motor, then it is direct because of direct coupling, the generator will start rotating and it will produce the electricity. Okay. So uh, now for this, we have connected one, uh, one reverse start in the field circuit of generator so that we can adjust its excitation okay so that means uh, this is nothing but uh, this one uh, this is a three phase alternator we are directly coupled to the shunt uh, this is shunt motor now by uh, we are going to start this shunt motor okay and once we are started this shunt motor obviously it is due to the direct coupling the generator will start rotating and once the generator will start rotating now what will happens uh, generator will produce the electricity okay but uh, now we are connected now i will explain the circuit for this i have connected one rheostat in the field circuit of the armature uh, field circuit of the motor as well as i have connected the another rheostat in the field circuit of generator okay the field uh, this one here it's a mistake i l f a s of iso for the printing mistake of MSPT. Uh, now here uh, by adjusting the field, just start the motor with the help of three point starter. Three point starter is the DC motor start. And if you the field, you start vary. Okay, by varying the field, you start, you should obtain the speed to the synchronous value of generator. That means, suppose my synchronous value of synchronous speed of generator is a 1500 RPM. Okay. So I can obtain this speed by varying the real stat which is connected to the field circuit of the motor. Okay, the motor madla motor cha field circuit madhe jokat me real stat connect kela. You should vary this and obtain the speed to the synchronous speed or synchronous value of the generators. Okay, now once you got 1500 RPM, which is synchronous speed of generator, now we should increase the excitation. Initially, just take a precaution that the field real stat should be in a minimum position of the motor while the rheostat which is connected to the generator set it should be maximum position mhanje itla ha rheostat to maximum la devaycha ani itla field madla to minimum devaycha okay now just start the machine start the start the motor with the help of three point starter now once you have started the machine just adjust the field rheostat of the motor so that the the generator will receive the synchronous speed okay and when you have 15 rpm when the generator ka speed yeh because of direct coupling now you should start you should switch in the uh, excitation of the generator when you have 15 rpm speed at that instant after that you should switching in the uh, switch uh, switch uh, switch in the uh, field excitation of the generator 
ओके ना इतल तुम्हारा जनरेटर च एक्सलेशन वाइज मी नो दैट वी आर अप्लाइंग डीसी करंट फॉर एक्सलेशन डीसी पॉवर सप्लाय फॉर एक्सलेशन एकदम मोटर स्टार्ट कराए मोटर स्टार्ट के फील्ड मतलब रिवर्सर भारी कराए फील्ड मेरा रिवर्स मोटर मतलब भारी के स्पीड पंद्रह रुपये मिलना पंद्रह रुपये माला तुम्हारा मग एक्सलेशन ऑन कराए बिफोर ऑप्टेनिंग द सिंक्रोन स्पीड यू शुड नॉट स्विच ऑन दिस पर्टिक्युलरली एक्सलेशन वन यू गॉट फिफ्टी हंड्रेड आरपीएम दट इज सिंक्रोन स्पीड ऑफ जनरेटर देन एंड देन ओनली शूड स्विच ऑन दिस फील्ड रेग्युलेशन दट इज अ फील्ड सर्किट सिंपल कॉल्ड इज एक्सलेशन ऑफ द जनरेटर्स ओके एक्सलेशन ऑन तुम्हारा यू शूड ऑप्टेन यू शूड गॉट अबाउट अबाउट दिस टर्मिनल वोल्टेज दट इज रेटेड वोल्टेज सपोज मैं जनरेटर टर्मिनल वोल्टेज ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन वोल्ट ओके देन एडजस्ट द फील्ड रिवर्सटेड ऑफ जनरेटर सो दैट द जनरेटर टर्मिनल हेज द वोल्टेज ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन वोल्ट ओके नाउ दिस इज नथिंग बट द प्रैक्टिकल सेटअप वी कॉल्ड एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट now we are taking the uh, now here after that you should connect the three different loads as i said earlier for voltage regulation we should connect the load for the gen, uh, alternator so you can use the three loads because we are considering the voltage regulation for three different power factor for unity power factor for lagging power factor for leading power factor okay and for obtaining the voltage regulation for unity power factor you should connect the resistive band we call the balanced load okay three phase balanced load to the terminals of generators jar tumhala voltage regulation unity power factor la hava asel you should connect the resistive band to the terminals of the generators okay if you want to get the voltage regulation for lagging power factor you should connect here inductive load because as you know that inductive sir inductive load always draws the lagging power factor current and if you calculate if you want to determine the voltage regulation for the leading power factor then you should connect here capacitive load the ja types of tumhala uh, ja power factor la tumhala voltage regulation find karaycha tya types of tumhala ithe load connect karaycha if i want to find the uh, power reg uh, voltage regulation for unity power factor you should connect resistive load if you want to find the voltage regulation for lagging power factor you should connect inductive load and if you want to find the voltage regulation for capacity uh for sorry for leading power factor current you should connect here capacity load but this load should be balanced one okay now for alternate terminal i have connected one ammeter as well as one voltmeter okay now i will move towards the uh, this is nothing but a nature of graph now uh, for this the graph is plotted against the load current versus a terminal voltage now we will see first about the observation table so synchronous speed of alternator is of 1500 rpm ye 1500 rpm ma constant due okay the field current of alternator is constant if we are we have got about uh, near about 0.4 ampere uh, as a this one uh, 0.4 ampere uh, it's a field current of alternator and rated terminal voltage of alternator is of 415 volt 415 volt okay ne tumcha rated terminal hai now we are taking the practical this is nothing but observation table for this experiment for resistive load tumhala kay karaycha just you should connect the resistive load and just switch in the uh, just uh, increase the load on the generator uh, simultaneously that means gradually you should increase the load on the generators and just measure the load current and terminal voltage only je tumhala kay karaycha just if you should connect the load here now just either load current kelta tumhala fakt load on karaycha ani itla current and voltage you should measure the current that is a uh, alternator current and the terminal voltage you should measure it. okay this is uh, for this resistive load similarly this practical can be take uh, with help of the inductive load as well as for capacitive load mi tumhala load fakt uh, different thevaycha load balance thevaycha pratyek phase madhe load vadavat 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 jaycha ani fakt current as well as the terminal voltage measure karaycha okay so uh, after that calculation part is just this we have know about the formula for voltage regulation voltage regulation is nothing but e0 minus v divided by v e0 kutla na je ka tumcha rated no load terminal voltage no load terminal voltage tumhala jo pat 415 volt ithe mala milnar hai this part okay to 415 minus ha v kutla inar hai jo ka tumhala terminal voltage ithe milnar hai okay to v divided by v into 100 we will get Uh, the uh, this we call uh, regulations for different loads similarly for inductive load as well as for capacitive load and this result we should calculate just find out everything and just write the readings okay so next uh, let's start our uh, actual performance of the experiment
Now this is our next experiment. This experiment uh, belongs to the three phase alternator. Now we have the three phase alternator which is coupled to DC shunt commutator because as we know that the motor alternator always required some uh, drive system to rotate for its operations. Now we have coupled to DC shunt motor for three phase alternator. Now by using this test we are going to find out the voltage regulation of the three phase alternator. Okay, so let's see our the connection first. So we have the DC shunt motor. So this panel it is related with the DC shunt motor. Why? This one it is related with the three phase alternators. Okay. So as I said, the DC shunt motor coupled to that this is symbol is nothing but a direct coupling. So I have connected the DC shunt motor by using such cords. I uh, am connected one rheostat in the field circuit of DC shunt motor so that so so that I can adjust the speed to the synchronous value. Okay. Now this second generator, second reverse stack, it is used to uh, it is used to supply the field current to the field winding of the alternator. Okay, this, that means this is used to supply the DC current, which is used for producing the fluxes in the alternator. Okay, and this part is nothing but a load bank, which is connected to called the balance load. For this practical, we are taking the load for different power factor. That means for firstly. Uh, we are using the resistive load. Second part we are using inductive load, and third one we are using capacitive load. So we will start with the help of the firstly resistive load. Okay. So I am starting the experiment. So by using the three point starter, I am switching on uh, DC shunt motor. Now by varying the field and rheostat, I can achieve the speed of the alternator to the its synchronous value. Okay. Synchronous speed of alternator is about 1500 rpm. Now I will check the first uh, its speed of alternator. Now I got about 1500 rpm something. So uh, now after that I have connected one voltmeter AC voltmeter across the load. Okay. So by wiring the excitation, now excitation is now switched off. Okay. Now by wiring the excitation, you can check that there is a change in the voltage of the alternator. Okay. Now I am wiring the field regulator, that means field reverse stack. Now if I am wiring the field reverse stack, if I am wiring the field reverse stack, now there is change in the AC voltage. You can see that. Okay. Now I am wiring the reverse stack of the field circuit of the generator so that I can obtain the rated voltage of alternator. My rated voltage of alternator is about uh, 415 volt. Okay, so by using the field reverse that I am varying the rated voltage. Now, it's near about 420 I got. Okay, now you should apply the balance load system for getting that particularly voltage regulations. Now, these are for a three phase balance load system. I am switching on one by one. Now you can see that there is a variation in the uh, there is a variation in this uh, output current of alternator. Okay, so output I have connected uh, to these are the three R, Y, B, and N terminal of the alternator. So I am connected the load through this ammeter. Okay, so this ammeter is used to measure the output current of the alternator. Why this multimeter we call it, uh, then uh, this voltmeter is used to uh, is uh, used to uh, show out or to use to measure the uh, voltage of the generators. Okay, so this is the one ready. So you should take the current is of uh, near about 3 ampere, uh, sorry, 2.1.5 uh, uh, ampere. The voltage is 384 volt. Okay, similarly, this is one ready. Similarly, you can take, you can increase again, switch on, you can switch on the different loads simultaneously. In the Mala Pratik phase mode. Same load apply करेंगे। R phase लापन same, same load आ सकता है, Y phase लापन same load आ सकता है, अनि B phase लापन same। जो है R phase है, Y phase B phase। प्रत्येक phase लापन तुम्हारा equal load आते डालने दे सकता है, अनि तुम्हारा voltage measure करें सकता है। And similarly, now अब तो अपन क्या करेंगे इतना, इतना अपन resistive load लाओ लेला। Okay, so 
एक पूर्ण रजिस्टर तो पूर्ण सेट जाना तुम्हारा हा रजिस्टर रिप्लेस कराए अल्टरनेटर बंद कर रजिस्टर रिप्लेस कराएगा इतने तुम्हारा इंडेक्स लोड दिया पर सेम प्रोसिजर प्रोसिजर का ही फरक नहीं फिर लोड बदलते हैं ठीक है एक इंडेक्स लोड के पर नेक्स्ट टाइम तुम्हारा कैपैसिटी लोड अप्लाय कराए ओके एंड बाय यूजिंग दिस यू कैन मेजर द वोल्टेज रेग्युलेशन ऑफ अल्टरनेटर मैं अल्टरनेटर जो सिंक्रोन स्पीड है पंद्रह रुपये मीट का सिंक्रोन स्पीड है और मज़ा अल्टरनेटर जो का नो लोड वोल्टेज है इट्स ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन चारशे पंद्रह वोल्ट है ओके थैंक यू